perfect time. I mean, what, what would make me think that you were just going to nail this one? Nope. Okay, she's stop. got we a mic. A got a, she has a mic that's cutting out. She's got, finally with Mike's turn. Up, <laughs> I burped like I needed you to tell me you burped. <laughs> I, I was here for the audio version. I didn't need you to read it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't plan that. <laughs> 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 All right, let's see if we can do it this time. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Stop the insanity in three, two. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another week of Quickie with Miss B and Miss B. And today is Monday. <laughs> All this week long, we're going to talk about. Now that's funny. Now, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that All we right. know the title of the show, yeah. today we're going to talk about they did what? <laughs> you know, those those random things that you witness and you're just kind of like, what? <laughs> so let me set the stage for everybody because she was in the middle of the story and she'll forget what she's talking about. It's early in the morning. She works a little ways away from home. <laughs> it's about 20 minutes to six and she rolls up to the stoplight. Take it, Christine. And so I see this person with, you know, the, the headphones on, like what we have that you can see the big ones that, you know, so obviously this person is from a little distance away is jamming to the music and I'm just kind of laughing, whatever. And all of a sudden she gets in front of me as she's, you know, going across the walk. <laughs> and because, you know, she's like right in the middle of where my headlights are. It was like, ooh, spotlight. Let me just have a moment, stop here and start dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Good Monday morning. <laughs> ooh, my second in the spotlight. <laughs> it was just kind of funny. And then she just, <clears throat> you know, after she paused, where, you know, she was just sitting there or standing there in front of my headlights. And she just kind of just, you know, moseyed on along, listening to her music, like, yeah, that's right. It was me. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my heavens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> one thing that I saw, is I know we got lots that we're going to talk about. One of the things I saw, it was, it was one of these little surreal moments where you felt like you did something good, but instead you realized you were stupid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a guy who's like sitting down in the median, you know, the median's in the middle of the road. Yeah. He's got the sign up, you know, and it says homeless vet, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, well, that's a brother in arms. So I stopped and handed him five bucks. Apparently, when I handed him the five bucks, that was the same time his shift alarm went off and his shift was done. So he walked over to his car and got in it and drove away. <laughs> oh. And I'm watching this in the review mirror. I'm going, what? whoa. What? <laughs> <laughs> I handed him five bucks. He was thank you, that brother. He stands up, puts it in his can, picks up his jacket and his little back mm -hmm. backpack, his mm -hmm. coat, starts walking, and I see him looking both ways as he's crossing the other side of the street. He walks right over to a car, hops in it. First he unlocks the door. Yeah. Hops <laughs> in it, starts it and drives away, and I'm like going, oh, what? What? <laughs> what? what the I, ah, I should feel good, but I feel like, wait a minute, I was just robbed. <laughs> was that for gas or something? What the heck? Are you just left sitting there going, wow. <laughs> Can't believe that just happened. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's some strange ones for sure. We had a funny one. Now, at my work... Um, there's a set of elevators and there's double doors. So there's doors on each side that open, you know, on each side. Yeah. So this lady gets in the double doored elevator and I'm, you know, going to my floor. So she hops on and she's thinking that the same door that she entered in, she's just going to now exit out of, but it doesn't work that way. The other set of doors is where you exit. So she's facing the doors <laughs> that she just <laughs> entered, thinking they're going to open. And you know how the elevator gives you that bing, and then the doors yeah. open? <laughs> she's like, 
why aren't these opening? You know, she was kind of mumbling this under her breath. And I heard her and I said, you need to turn around. <laughs> and then she's just like, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> and what's funny is there's never a sign. No, and they're there's really a, fine. Uh, yeah, who, who gets into an elevator, turns around, puts their back against the wall, and says, oh, the door's not opening. Maybe I should turn around and try to walk out the door behind me. I mean, who knows that? I mean, you don't even realize it's a door there. It's a stainless steel cube that you walked into from that direction. Yeah. I probably should walk out that direction since that mm -hmm. seems to be the big thing called door. Who knows that behind you is another one? Another set of doors that open. <laughs> yeah. You don't always know that. My favorite, I've actually seen it happen. Mm -hmm. It's it's terrible, and I know, and people will send emails and tell me what a horrible soul I am, and I'm going to probably agree with you, but I don't care because it's funny. We had a, uh, in a, one of my previous lives, we had a store at a food court. All right. Now, it was, it was a clothing store, but it was this big store had come open in the food court. So we got it. So that, that made us an anchor store because you could come in, you could come into our store from the outside. You know what I mean? Oh, Normally okay. you have to go into a mall. So they wanted it because it gave you two entrances, a mall entrance and an outside entrance. So you didn't have to come into the mall to go to the store. People liked that. But there also was this glass bowl that you walk into. Yeah, I mean, you walk in, and it's got like a heater in it. So you walk in, you warm up there so you don't keep bringing yeah. the cold air from outside and rain and all that. Yeah. So people constantly would slam into that glass. It was, it was constant. <laughs> constant. I mean, I, we, we had a joke going on at the start. Like, Can you go get the nose marks off the window, please? And I would, tell, I would send the young girls to go over and there's always this smudge right about nose high. What is that? That's where the last eight people have slammed their faces into the back. <laughs> Finally, I put a, uh, a stop sign without the word uh -huh. stop on it, just the color. Uh -huh. So you had, you know, the octagon there, a red yeah. octagon. I put it right there. And people would walk up to it before they would slam their nose and they would just stand there. <laughs> and and you'd watch them. Yeah, <laughs> you'd watch them start looking around and they're looking. And I've actually had them waving at me like this. I walk open, open the door and go, yes. Oh, oh, I thought I was supposed to. Oh, why is there a stop sign? And I went, okay. I, and one guy, I went to eliminate this. I pulled down the stop sign. I walked over, slammed my face into the glass. That happens without the stop sign. I put it up. I go, but with the stop sign, just people waving in front of it. I was like, I can't figure out how to get people to understand. Open the door. The sign open the door seems it might be insulting, but I guess we might have to go to that. <laughs> Eventually, I replaced the arrow, I mean, the, the stop sign with a stop sign that had an arrow on it pointing mm -hmm. that way, and then a sign that said, open the door. <laughs> and people would walk in, they'd look mm -hmm. at the uh, stop sign, follow <laughs> the arrow around, look out, then smile, and then open the door. I'm like, oh my God! <laughs> It's like they have to have a roadmap. Who walks into a store and goes, I'm totally confused. Is there a door? <laughs> People. Most places have a door. <laughs> yeah. It's like, says entrance. I don't see a door. <laughs> Bang your head on the glass then. I bet you. Feel it <laughs> and on that note, we'll take a brief exit. Welcome back, everybody. You're listening to A Quickie with Miss B. I'm Miss B. Today is Monday. If you missed the first half of the episode, please go back and check it out. If you missed any of the previous episodes, please go back and check them out as well. There's some good stuff out there. And if you want to know where you can listen, you can find us on Spreaker.com, iHeart, Spotify, just to name a few. Yahoo. Can't get you to say welcome to A Quickie with Miss B, but boy, you... You want to know where I'm located? I'm located in many different genres. We're going to go ahead and talk about a few of those. Those are located in Sonos. Where was it? What? Alexa. Yeah, yeah. Like, now say quickie with Miss B. With a quickie with a... Um, uh, oh, I did it again. Oh my God. Uh-huh. Okay, so... 
talking about what they did. <laughs> You're kind of like, aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> I've seen a few things. I mean, like we just talked, a good example of that guy over at the, over at the Greg's Nona's place, you know, at the horn. Uh-huh. I mean, that, that was, that was, <laughs> that was just shock and awe and terror. You're like, <laughs> I wanted to run. run. I wanted to run up to the window and go, no, no, <laughs> you know, slow motion. No, yeah, you no. see the hand going for the horn. You're like, there, I tell you, <laughs> don't blow the horn. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. a no-no. Yep. <laughs> it's a big no-no. I watched that whole thing unfold right in front of me. That was definitely well, one of those crazy things you see. The part that floored me is that I could see him taking out one tire with his knife, but two. Both. <laughs> Both back tires. And he didn't, like, stab him. He literally leaned over and went, saw, saw. <laughs> So, oh, there goes the air. He walks over to the other one. Saw. Saw. <laughs> oh, there goes the air. He's started up. <laughs> well, he just started up. Don't let me see you around here ever again. If you see me in town, make sure I don't see you. <laughs> Go home oh. now. <laughs> You're like, oh, he's got to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to live, just leave. <laughs> Back up the car now and go. (laughs) 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 Yep. (laughs) Well, the other strange thing that I saw when I was at, I think at work. Yeah, I was at work. Um, This coworker bumped into a piece of furniture. And all of a sudden I said, I heard her say, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> you're into the chair and you're apologizing to the chair. <laughs> well, Christine, chairs have feelings too, you know. <laughs> well, yeah. Because I must have had that look on my face like, what? And look at me like, chairs have feelings. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, it's a good thing we straightened that out. All right. <laughs> Note to self, never be alone in a room with her. <laughs> her. <laughs> he likes to talk to furniture. <laughs> yeah. Although, I I mean, I didn't do that, but I did something like that in a JCPenney once. Yeah. Uh, I uh, set my bag down that I had. I got went to get something. I had a bag in my hand. I set it down. I used to always hate it because... For some reason, those things, those little alarm things back in the early days of the alarm things always oh, seemed yeah. to go off all the time back all then. The time. Oh, yeah. They never had them tuned in. Yeah. So I, uh, I I bent down to tie my shoe. I set the bag down. Mm-hmm. Then when I stood up, I, you know, I kind of backed up and apparently I bumped into a mannequin. I did go, oh, I'm so sorry. And then I realized that. <laughs> but in my defense, it did look like a chick. So, I mean. I I actually did do that similar thing. It wasn't a chair, so. <laughs> no, it was a mannequin. Yeah. Kind 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 of a girl, sort of. <laughs> kind of, sort of, maybe not so. Much. I was trying to use my manners. I thought, you know, I thought I bumped into a girl. It was very quick, you know. You still feeling? Whoa, hey, oh, I'm sorry. Wait. I'm, I'm not sorry at all. Why are you so stiff? <laughs> Why are you not talking? <laughs> you should uh, fire her. She doesn't have anything to say. Uh-huh. She was rude to me. I want to turn her in. Somebody write her up. <laughs> you know, speaking along the lines of retail, I'll tell you this one really quick, what I saw. And I just thought that was funny. This lady was uh, at a clothing store. She was, you know, making a purchase for a bunch of clothes. And um, you know how they're nice enough at the store to fold them and then put them in tissue paper and then put them in the bag. Well, the lady that was buying the clothes did not like that. She was refolding the clothes that the cashier was trying to fold to put together in the tissue paper in a nice, neat little bag. (laughs) Right there at the counter. See now, see I, I'm I'm being quiet because I've actually I, I've actually not you did done that. that. Did I, I didn't do that, 
they did that to my clothes and I reached in there and grabbed the tissue paper and lifted it up, pulled it out and handed it back so you can keep that. She's like, why? I said, you're just sending your trash home with me. I, I don't want to carry your trash home. I'm sorry. She's no, it's for the, it's for your classic. Why would I want my clothes in paper? That's trash. You can keep the trash. She's just staring. I'm like, well, what's the first thing you do when you get home? You take it out of the paper. What do you do with the paper? Yeah. Just say just it. Paper away. Okay, so it was trash then. It's trash now. Okay. I'm like, she's like, well, I, I, I'm, you're, you're just giving me your trash. No, don't send your trash home. With you. Okay. If you can't get rid of this paper in your own number, I mean, who does that? Why would you buy paper? Have it shipped to you so that you can put it in everyone's bag so they can throw it away when they get home. Well, no wonder your stuff costs so much money. That's stupid. <laughs> I understand it came in a box for shipping. Per but no, I brought it up on a hanger. They took it off the hanger because they didn't want to give me the hanger. God, help. God forgive them if they gave me the hanger. So what they do, they had imported paper so they could wrap it up in the paper so when I went home, I could throw the paper away. <laughs> What? Who thinks that's normal? People, stop. <laughs> Would you like this wrapped in my trash, sir? <laughs> now, if you think about it, if you can, if I had a store and you came to my store, Christine, and, uh -huh. went, and I'm like, oh, is, will this be all for you? Yeah, I'll just have these three novelty shirts and this novelty hat. That's what I've got. I've got a novelty store. So I start taking the circulars, you know, the throwaway papers, uh -huh. and I'm wrapping up your hats in, in the old throwaway papers. You might say something like, what What are you doing? Oh, I have trash that I need to throw away, so I'm just going to wrap your clothes in it. So <laughs> throw away. This way I disperse it slowly to everybody who shops here. You'd think I was an asshat. <laughs> but yet they start handing out paper going, I've wrapped your clothing in some old paper I have lying about. Could you toss it away for me, please? Newspaper, new paper. You know, Who you cares? Can tissue paper and put it in a present. You know when you get those bags and you put the tissue That's paper? That's what the newspapers are for. No. you gotta I wrap the presents in the newspaper. You can't. Oh. No imagination for food. What, okay, paper. listen. What What is wrapping paper? Paper with pictures on it. What are newspapers? No, there's Papers no. with pictures on them. No, this isn't wrapping paper. It's tissue paper that you put It's in a the celebration paper. of America's news history. See? <laughs> wrapping paper. As, there we go. Where's the, it's, it's themed no. wrapping paper. Oh, it's about no. American news media. See? It's a, oh, no. <laughs> and on that note, I think I need to go have some shopping retail therapy. <laughs>